Mango and Bam Bang are Mango All Sorts, who is a girl good at all sorts of things, who lives in an apartment in a very busy city with her papa. And Bam Bang is an Asian tapir who has run away from a tiger from his home in the jungle and run so far that he's ended up in the busy city where Mango lives and where she first meets him. And I'm not going to tell you exactly where he's hiding, but you will have to look at her Asian tapir who has two black stripes and one white stripe and think about where you might hide in a very busy city if you were a tapir. So once we'd met and decided that we might like to make a book together, we had a think about what animal might need its story to be told. And I have always loved tapirs. Um, I often visit them at London Zoo and get cross on their behalf that they're part of the tiger exhibit there because tigers like to eat tapirs. Well, I rushed home with a tingle of excitement and I did a character sketch of a little girl and a tapir and I sent it to Polly just with the words, does this inspire you at all? And a very short while later, the most wonderful stories arrived through my letterbox and I knew from that moment onwards that we were onto something very, very special. So the first book of stories um, are obviously about how Mango and Bam Bam meet and the friendship that develops between them and when Bam Bam comes to live with Mango and some of the adventures that might happen if you have a tapir come and live in your house. So while Polly was putting the finishing touches to the stories, I was busy getting to know Mango and Bang Bang better. And that involves doing lots of little drawings of them. I need to know what they look like when they are happy or forlorn or sleepy. I need to know, does Mango have a school uniform? What does Bang Bang look like when he is doing his, what I've described as large but dainty trotting? I need to know what that looks like. From the very first sketch that I drew of Mango and Bang Bang, and then when I redrew them in, in neat, they've actually changed very little since then. And Bang Bang, he's so wonderful to draw. And I don't know what it is about him that makes him so touching. I don't know whether it's his, his sensitive, timid snout, the little white tips to his ears, or maybe just the fact that he always looks like his tights are falling down. <laughs> we have enjoyed making these stories so much um, that Mango and Bam Bang have become like our friends, and we really hope they become your friends too.